Happy Halloween to all you viewers out there. It's going to get straight up spooky with yeah, this week's is. announcements. I'm Hingle McCringleberry. I'm the cluster at Donkey Chud. And let's get the kick in with these Wednesday's announcements. Alright. Breakfast is going to be scrambled eggs, so that'll be delicious. High school wrestling meeting during AR in the high school commons. It'll be getting pretty creepy out there. High school boys basketball meeting during AR in the concessions area. Adult yoga classes in the oh. high school music room at 6.15 p.m. Don't be late, Alex. Junior high right. girls basketball parent meeting in Mr. Murphy's room, 6.30 p.m. Community open gym from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. You got anything to say about that, you want to Um, that's not for amateurs like Jake and Brock, or Tyrell and Brock. Uh, well, I'll throw Jake into the mix there, too, because right. he don't want to be baller. You know what, Nikki, you can show. We got a spooky elementary book fair in the elementary gym from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's all day. Lunch is Philly beef sandwich, optional salad bar. All right, we'll take that bar. option. What do we got Thursday? All right, Thursday we got a lot of events filled for the day after Halloween. Hope you're ready for it. Parent teacher conferences, school dismissed at 1 p.m. Conferences 1:30 to 8 p.m. This will mean we're going to be running on that shortened schedule that everyone loves so much and dearly. Oh, yeah. Eighth period schedule. Oh, all right. Hat day. Donate a dollar to wear a hat for a great cause. No aerobics due to the conferences. That's really going to bum out Jake, but I think he can live. No kid connection. Elementary book fair in the elementary gym. 8 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. 7 through 12, library. Book <coughs> Open house during the parent teacher conference. Fourth, fifth, and sixth grade girls basketball practice, six to seven thirty p.m. in elementary gym. High school volleyball divisional tournament at Forsyth. Breakfast for the day is going to be some good old fashioned buttermilk pancakes, and lunch is going to be a good old corn dog. Friday, once again, no school, and also the high school volleyball divisional tournament at Forsyth will continue. It'll also continue on through Saturday. What else we got Saturday? Ingle McCringleberry. Saturday, we have junior high girls basketball at Shepherd, 8.30 a.m. to parts at 7.30 a.m. High school volleyball, divisional tournaments in Forsyth. Junior high wrestling at Columbus, 9 a.m. They depart at a swift 7 a.m. And Jake, off for the Halloween words of wisdom. Double, double, toil, trouble. Fire's burning, culture bubble. What's the Halloween's joke? <sighs> Why is six afraid of seven? I feel like this is highly inappropriate for the news. Because seven is a registered six offender. Alright. Now, now off to our clean shaven, scary weatherman <laughs> with the weather. Alright, welcome to this week's weather segment HP on this spooky Halloween Wednesday. Well, our weather's gonna get straight ghoulish. As you can see, we've got some rain coming down for this Friday. It's going to be a little freaky Friday for you. But tonight, Halloween, trick-or-treating. Uh, don't freeze your tootsies off. It's going to be in the 30s today. A little uh, scary 30s for you. It's going to be some clouds and some um, rain showers developing later on in the week. And also, boom, Hurricane Sandy coverage behind me. As you can see, the storm is coming right in time for Halloween, called the Frankenstorm. Uh, devastating homes and really drought of power. Really uh, interesting in the weather world caused by turf currents and the uh, ocean breezes effect. As you can see, that's Lincoln Your Weather now over to a new segment called Reading the Throne. Thanks for joining us on today's installment of Reading with Romo. Today's selection is a beautiful little book called The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Let's read an excerpt from this novel. I suppose you have heard the news, Basil, said Lord Henry that evening, as Hallward was shown into a little private room at the Bristol where dinner had been laid for three. No, Harry, answered the artist, giving his hat and coat to the bowing waiter. What is it? Nothing about politics, I hope. They don't interest me. 
there is hardly a single person in the House of Commons worth painting, though many of them would be the better for a little whitewashing. Dorian Gray is engaged to be married, said Lord Henry, watching him as he spoke. Hallward started and then frowned. Dorian engaged to be married, he cried. Impossible. That concludes this reading of the portrait picture of Dorian Gray. We'll see you next time on Reading with Roll Call. All right, it's been a scary Wednesday here Spooky. at the HP lab. Where's your friend? I am. All right, I'm uh, going Talk about a wild Halloween Wednesday. It has been wild. Learned a lot. Love that rating. That was really oh, touching. That was, deep. that was touching. Anything else? You know what? I think we'll just wrap it up with. Wrap it up as my favorite horror That's guy always says. Slenderman. Slenderman. Keep it classy, HP. What is, is that, what is that back there? Holy. Slender Man. Whoa! Whoa.